Oh, Stuart, you look so handsome. Oh, hey, I, I feel like me. <laughs> I don't know why Adam likes those suits and ties. You know, they cut off circulation, you know. <laughs> I, maybe that's why he's so grumpy. Oh, darling, I wish it were as simple as a change of wardrobe for Adam. <laughs> <laughs> don't tickle me, don't tickle me. Oh, Liza, you are an absolute vision. You really are. You really look beautiful, Liza. I, I think I might just stay home with Colby. She doesn't require much conversation. Well, Colby's asleep. You should really get out and socialize, mm -hmm. darling. The press is going to be there, probably shoving microphones in my face, asking me what I thought of Adam's apology. And I promise you, anything I say, they couldn't print. <laughs> He did seem really sorry. Uh, I, I think I think everything's going to be okay. Oh hi. Where is he? Who? Who do you think? Adam. Is it against your professional code to be polite, Barry? You can stop congratulating yourselves. Your demand for an apology caused a bigger mess. Board members at Chandler Enterprises are completely panicked. After Adam's Dalai Lama performance, they're convinced he's having a mental breakdown. Now, if Chandler's stock nosedives, Colby's inheritance is gone. Your child could be uh, penniless, thanks to you. Colby will be inheriting things like character and integrity and love, Barry. Real noble. In the meantime, uh, Damage control begins now. Where is Adam? I don't know how many times I need to tell you this. I don't know. Well, if by chance Adam makes contact, tell him to get over to Palmer Cortland's party and reassure those board members with a snarl. If he doesn't show, they'll think he has something to hide. And this could get real ugly real fast. Again, Barry, your problem, not mine. I'll see you out. small minds keep themselves company while we have the time of our lives. Bold. Very bold. Please stick with me, Doctor. Anything can happen. It already has. I fell in love with you. I think I'm going to call Jake to see how Jillian is doing. Jillian is fine. Jake is taking good care of her. Now, listen, you work too hard. I want you to do three things tonight. I want you to drink champagne, laugh at my jokes, and teach me a couple of dance steps. Do you think you can manage that? Laugh at your jokes. <clears throat> Two out of three, OK? <laughs> oh, no. What is Edmund doing with Alex? I mean, he can't be that desperate. That's probably what people will say about us. You, at least. She can't be that desperate. <laughs> I believe there's a video that Miss Cortland put on Becca. Um, hold. Mm -hmm. Planning a little rendezvous upstairs? Did they have the tape? No, Katie, I'm sorry. They don't. You have the worst luck with videos. Is this one OK? This is great. How sweet your date. Don't let me keep you from the cookies and milk. <laughs> there you are. Hey. Hi. What are you guys up to? Babe, Becca's babysitting me. Oh, yeah? yeah, and we are late for a mean game of go fish. Old maid is more like it. Mm. Hi, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Stick close so I can show you up and don't even think about stranding me. How much do you really want to go to this party tonight, huh? You want to leave already? Well, I got a better idea we could do with our time. Now? Now. Oh! 
Well, it seems that our hostess has disappeared on us. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. We think she's gone off to get a fresh infusion of cash from old hubby money bag. <laughs> well, that's who she can find him. <gasps> what? A woman can smell a wallet for 20 paces. If she's in love with anything, it's in love with Palmer's money. My, my, this generation is so cynical, aren't they? <laughs> well, I won't deny that part of Palmer's appeal is his wealth. But our relationship really isn't about money. It's about a very special sharing that gives us both joy. Well, your joy is certainly apparent. <laughs> about 80 carats worth. <laughs> well, whatever makes my husband happy, huh? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, you went to bed, darling. He wasn't feeling well. Really? Well, that sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll do the same thing. I'm sorry I was so pushy earlier. Maybe it would be wiser if you stayed home. We could rent a movie, something that you wanted to see. Oh, that would be great, but uh, Stuart insisted that I go without him. He did? Uh, yes. You see, we were going to be there for Opal, you know, to give her moral support. So I'm going to go for Opal and Stuart, and um, I'll let you know all about it in the morning, okay? Get some good sleep, darling. I'll thank you. Love you. Night. Adam, where the hell have you been? Well, I'm here, aren't I? There's Talbot and Corelli. They may be the only friends you have left. We'll, we'll schmooze them and then move on to Simmons and Warren with those two. Show them some fire and brimstone, the Adam they know and love, huh? Uh, Look lovely. Where's that delicious young man of yours? He's around here somewhere. to take your advice. I was a little lonely. Oh, great. Uh, let's go get a drink, darling. Oh, What's no. Wrong? Well, uh, I should have stayed home. I'm Adam Chandler. When I, when I make a decision, it's a, it's a business decision. Based on business. I did what I could to help you. you I didn't interfere. You did exactly what I asked you not to do. I you get the job you want. I can get it on my own. Not so far. So if I get this job... When you get this job... I'm gonna owe you. Big time. But since uh, I already owe you my life, it seems fair. Well, now that we have that settled, we can't go back. Who wants to? Oh, did I tell you how divine Venice was? <laughs> Ad nauseum. Your honeymoon? <laughs> I wish, no. My wonderful husband generously arranged for me to take a sick friend. And, oh, was it a tonic for both of us? Oh, poor Palmer, <laughs> pining away for his bride. Uh, uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> he says I am the center of his universe. <laughs> My. if I stole my son for a dance. <laughs> Shall we? Not on your life. <laughs> 
<laughs> Darling, do you think that such a public first date is wise? I mean, since it's sure to end badly. Eric and I have been together for some time. I think we can survive your soirees. <laughs> but can you survive each other? <laughs> when it comes to women, you do have a very short attention span, dear, and Eric. <laughs> And I do hate to be the one to tell you, dear, but it can't last. You see, Eric expects far too much from a man, more than you could possibly offer. Eric and I live each day as it comes. What we have, Mother, you could never understand. Oh, and what will happen when she wants you to marry her and settle down, and yet will make you the, what, the... Seventh, Mr. <laughs> Kate. <laughs> I don't think you could take it, darling. You know, you just gave me a great idea. Mm. Maybe I'll announce our engagement tonight. Give you a wedding present, Mother. The daughter you never had. <laughs> you wouldn't. Uh -huh. so are you going to marry this guy? Opal, please, I'm, I'm happy. Isn't that enough? He is trouble, Erica. You know that. He's exciting. Some people say he's dangerous. A real dangerous man. It's a one-way road to heartache. Adam. 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 Um. Well, I guess I now know you are guilty. I, did, I didn't. I. I don't. Guilty of what? Daniel. Hiding Daniel? Hiding Daniel? Daniel, yes. Uh, no, 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 I'm right on that. That's that. ASPCA. Are you saying this is funny? No. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell Adam exactly what I think about him. Mother, mother. Adam, I have to talk to you. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm not going to let this go. Yes, I can see that. Well, I just don't have anything for you right this now. This can't wait. I've got to get an answer out of this man right now. Right now. Oh, you do I. I. I can't I can't do this anymore. I'm going home. Bonnie, remember why you're doing it. I forget. if I stole my son for a dance. <laughs> Shall we? Not on your life. <laughs> Darling, do you think that such a public first date is wise? I mean, since it's sure to end badly. Eric and I have been together for some time. I think we can survive your soirees. <laughs> but can you survive each other? <laughs> when it comes to women, you do have a very short attention span, dear, and Erica. <laughs> and I do hate to be the one to tell you, dear, but it can't last. You see, Eric expects far too much from a man, more than you could possibly offer. Eric and I live each day as it comes. What we have, Mother, you could never understand. Oh, and what will happen when she wants you to marry her and settle down, and yet will make you the, what, the... Seventh, Mr. K. <laughs> I don't think you could take it, darling. You know, you just gave me a great idea. Mm. Maybe I'll announce our engagement tonight. Give you a wedding present, Mother. The daughter you never had. <laughs> you wouldn't. Uh -huh. so are you going to marry this guy? Opal, please, I'm, I'm happy. Isn't that enough? He is trouble, Erica. You know that. He's exciting. Some people say he's dangerous. A real dangerous man. It's a one-way road to heartache. Adam. 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 Um. Well, I guess I now know you are guilty. I, did, I didn't. I, I don't. Guilty of what? Daniel. Hiding Daniel? Hiding Daniel? Daniel, yes. Uh, no, 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 I'm right on that. That's that. 
ASPCA. Are you saying this is funny? No. no. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell Adam exactly what I think about him. Mother, mother. Adam, I have to talk to you. No, 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 I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I'm not going to let this go. Yes, I can see that. Well, I just don't have anything for you right this now. This can't wait. I've got to get an answer out of this man right now. Right now. Oh, excuse do I. I? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm going home. Donnie, remember why you're doing it. I forget. that you've had your differences with David, but my goodness, you could be civil to us. You and, um, and, 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 and David. That's right. Yes. Well, uh, I hope you'll both be very happy. Uh, for a couple of damn fools. I've done everything you asked. I'm going home. Oh, but Stuart, I... Oh. Hi. Where'd you come from? Oh. <laughs> Uncle Ed, are you leaving already? But the uh, party's practically just begun. I didn't want to come to this party anyway. A party honoring Palmer Cortland's complete and foolish waste of time. Sorry I asked. Uh, hey, have you seen Becca? Becca? Yeah, Becca... Becca Tyree. Uh, uh, it's all right, I'll find her myself. Yeah, see you do that. The car is waiting, Mr. Chandler. You ready to go? Oh, yes, please. Thank you, George. Please. Liza. Mother. Tommy, what's wrong? Why are you so jumpy? Why are you sneaking up on me? I'm not. They're about to start the toast. I came to get you. What were you looking at, darling? Nothing. No, Nothing? I, are you coming in? Um, I am going to call home and check on Colby. You go. You tell me what I missed. All right, darling. I'll tell you. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I had a stomachache. We need to deal with a Latin American problem. I, I have been fielding phone calls all week, and I can't put Simmons and Warren off another day. I don't know. But you see what's happening. You could have cost me the entire project. I'll lose millions if you... And that's what I pay you for. No. Yes. Well, can't you do anything on your own? No, no, Stuart, no, no. You mean you... You want me to 
take over the negotiations myself. No, no, yeah. you can't trust a lawyer. I, I, I trust you. And I'm a very busy man. I've got, I've got issues. I've got, I've got important issues. So I just, uh, so just go delegate. No, 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 you can't do that. Right. I'm, I'm pulling out my hair, can't you see me? Every freaking follicle! <laughs> All right. Look, I, I'll phone you tomorrow afternoon with a proper script. No, 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 not tomorrow afternoon. I'm, I'm, I'm busy tomorrow afternoon. Just uh, call me when it's done. Adam, thank you. Thank you. I've been wanting to run the show on one of these babies for a long time. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Where is it? Where'd I put it? I really hope I don't have to play Adam much longer. Oh, darling, remember why you're doing it for Colby and Liza. Oh, by the way, where is Liza? I haven't seen her. Well, I thought she was coming home. Maybe she went to the station. I left shortly after she did because, oh, my God, that speech, it went on forever. I mean, if I'd been thirsty, I could have died of dehydration. Whatever you are up to, Mother, you are going to pay. And something else, darling. You've got to be very careful. Adam Shanda would never be caught sucking on a lollipop, darling. I was enjoying that. I know you were. Wouldn't my lips be better than an old lollipop, Stuart? Oh, well, let's see. Lollipop, lips. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Adam. What are the two of you up to? So have you got that, Adam? No, I think you better go because Liza doesn't want you here. No, what are you doing here? What have you got to say for yourself, Adam? I... He's got nothing to say for himself. Now, you heard me, Adam. Just take your coat and go. Right. I'm going. I'm going. Good night, Liza. Oh, oh, dear, look at the time. Stuart hates it when I'm out alone at night by myself. I've really got to run. Oh, actually, not so quick, Mother. When I was walking in, it looked like you and Adam were about ready to kiss. What is going on between the two of you? Nothing, darling. I've really got to run, my ass. Mother, you're not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on between you and my husband. Your husband is a rat. And second of all, Liza, what are you implying here? I have eyes, Mother. You thought I was going to kiss Adam? Stranger things have happened. Oh, darling, when are you going to get over all that? That was a long time ago. Mother, it was a year and a half ago that you jumped in bed with Adam and you got Stuart by mistake. I didn't jump into bed with Adam. I was trying to get you your divorce. Oh, I see. So you've been sacrificing yourself for me. And again, please, Liza, I detest Adam Chandler. And you can't be trusted. Even if you don't sleep with him, you could wind up pregnant. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. All right, Donnie. Will you go to bed and I'll just let myself out, okay? Mother, what's with the lollipop? Oh, this? Hmm. Whose is it? Oh, it's mine. It's yours? Yeah. <laughs> In my entire life, I have never seen you with a lollipop. I left the party before they cut the cake. I had this incredible sweet craving, so I picked up this mm, raspberry lollipop. Oh, it's really good. Mm. So sleep well tonight, and I'll see you in the morning. Night, honey. I do not know what you're up to, Mother. 
But believe you me, you are going to pay. I'm going to find out what you did with Adam. She knows. Liza knows. It'll only be a matter of time before she, she finds me. My beautiful Liza is going to find me. the whole world could know how brilliant Stuart really is. He's better at being you than you are, darling. Shall I read you all about your Latin American deal? I heard, Marion. Oh, here it is. Adam Chandler's quiet strength convinces his Latin American partners to come through with additional tax breaks. I heard, Marion. I heard. I've got a table. I've got a satellite dish. I've got all the comforts of home. But it's still a prison. Oh, well, as long as you're comfortable, darling. Oh, by the way, Adam, is there anything I can get you? No. Let, let me out or leave me alone. Darling, you really are terribly grumpy, you know. I mean, you really should try to get into the Christmas spirit. I know. As soon as I can, darling, I'm going to bring you uh, a wreath and some twinkling lights. Oh, and yes, some mistletoe, so you can stand under it and kiss yourself. Great, I got an idea. Why don't you kiss mine? wanted me to pick up a check for him here on the desk. Stuart or Adam? Well, Stuart, of course, but uh, I don't see it, so maybe I misunderstood him. You know, Mother, I think we need to have a little chat. Yeah, that's it. You're getting warm. Really? Yeah. Hey, what the hell is he doing hey. in my study? Hi. Uh, Winifred told me you were here. Uh, can I talk to you for a little bit? I'm sorry, Marion. Uh, I need to, to speak with Liza alone just for a few minutes. Oh, of course. Just talk to her as much as you like. Uh, it's about Colby. It's Colby Chandler to you. Now beat it so my wife can rescue me. I know this might be a lot to ask, um, but I want... I want Colby to be able to spend her first... Christmas with us, the Marbles. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I want... You're invited, of course. Of course I want you to be there. But well, you're the reason I thought about this in the first place. I, I mean, I know how Adam's turned your life upside down recently, and, and maybe the best thing would be for you and, and Colby to spend a nice, real family Christmas with us. Well, you know, I, I know that Christmas is right around the corner, but to be honest with you, I haven't really thought of it. Well, I'm all the more reason to, 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 to do it. I mean, I, I want Colby to be in... Uh, an environment that's warm and, and loving and and just I don't know Christmas and you know you know our place during Christmas mm -hmm. I can just see Tad and, and Dad are gonna whip out the train set and they'll be hunkered over <laughs> the thing all day and they won't let Jamie or Junior anywhere near it mm -hmm. and Mom's gonna drag out all of Graham Kate's Christmas ornaments and she's got a story for each and every one of those like we've never heard it before oh this sack it makes my and teeth I know hurt that Colby will probably not remember it, all the details but she will know that. She's going to be around people who love her very much. Jake. And then Stuart and Marion can, can come too. I mean, they're family. We're, we're all family. Hey, 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 what's wrong? I just can't keep this up anymore. What? Keep what? Let's come on, tell him. Tell him. Sit down. Jake. I'm gonna watch the little drummer boy become Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> Colby is a genius. We have been coloring, and I swear she's a regular grandbaby Moses. <laughs> Lisa, darling, what's wrong? Nothing. She wanted. You want to tell me something, right? I just don't understand why Adam never has any tissues around here. Because Adam is incapable of tears, that's why. There, there, there's some tissues in my bag there, darling. Oh, thank you. She's been an absolute basket case, and it's all because of Adam. I, I just asked her if Colby could spend her first Christmas with us, and uh, she lost it. I see. Well, Christmas can be an emotional time, even under the best of circumstances. I I'm fine. I'm fine. 
really. I'm sorry. But what are you sorry about? Well, I, I kind of lost it. I'm, Colby and I would love to spend Christmas. You would? Every single That'd be, that's great. Th thank you. Pam. Well, everything's just perfect now. Right. Um, I gotta get back to work. That's right, Donnie. You've got lives to save and people to help. And yeah, run while you can. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Bye, Jake. Liza, what were you about to do? Mother. I can't keep lying to him. Donnie, you've got to keep this up until you have sole custody of Colby and as much of Adam's fortune as you can possibly get. I know you're right. Look, I'm fine, okay? You can go back to Colby if you want. Oh, no, I've got to meet uh, um, Opal at the Valley Inn right now. Where's my purse? Oh, there it is. Unless, of course, you want me to stay with you, darling. No. No, I've got everything under control. All right. I love you. I'll see you later. You. Bye. Watching on the monitors, but to have you so close like this, you can't imagine how I've longed for this moment when I could do, tell you how sorry I am and uh, tell you how much I love you. Just, just push the green button on the remote. This plexiglass wall will go, will go up, and I'll be free. Free. for being angry. But I know you. And I know you, you couldn't possibly knowingly keep me imprisoned in here. Your psychotic mother, maybe, but not you. Oh, really? So if my mother's sanity is being brought to question, uh, I think she's proven it by locking you in here. I'm sure that she had an uh, excellent reason, even though I don't know what it is. Especially if Stuart's on board. Well, I can't possibly begin to explain your mother's misguided instincts. And Stuart's? I want to talk about you. And me, and Colby. We are a family now. Like it or not, we have a child together. And I didn't have a choice. Because you lied to me about our child's conception. You lied to me. You kept it a secret from me. And obviously you have more secrets, otherwise you wouldn't be trapped in here. You have to let me out of here. Why? Why? Because I have a conscience? You don't think I can keep you locked up in here? Think again. Hate me. But Colby deserves to have her father be a part of her life. Yes, she does, and she will. Jake. Jake is not her father. I am. He's the only father she knows. That's a lie, isn't it? Are you going to continue lying to her the rest of her life? You can't even lie to Jake. I heard you. These monitors are connected to every main room in this house. You were ready to tell Jake the truth until Marion interrupted you. Yes, I wanted to tell him the truth. You, you can't push my guilt button because it's not going to work. Because... 
What's overriding my guilt is the fact that I have a child that I have to take care of. And if I have to lie about you for the rest of my life, I will take my chances in front of the devil. You'll never get away with it. Really? Well, that remains to be seen. Jillian knows. What? Jillian. Hayward told her at the hospital. Hayward knows? Hayward knows. <laughs> Hayward has known for months. He's been torturing me with it ever since. He, he knew before we were even married? Yes. And that explains why he was behaving the way that he was, and how long has she known? Since just before her accident. So, you see, it's only a matter of time before one of them tells Jay. Why then? It's Jake. Hello, anybody home? He's, he's coming, he's coming this way. Hello, Lida. Timing is perfect. Go on, tell him the truth. Right now. Now's your chance. Tell him. Shut up. Hi. Hey. Where were you? Winford said you were, uh, you were oh. right here. What's oh, I, I just had to take care of something. Uh, I, I don't know why. I think I had this, like, acute withdrawal or something. I was driving to the hospital and... Here I am. Huh. Well, um, you probably wanted to see Colby. You need a, a fix. Yeah. I think she's still napping. Well, that's all right. I'm just going to peek my head in, and then I'll be on my way. Jake? Um, wait. We need to talk. There's something that I need to tell you. Yes. At last. Tell him. Tell him I'm Colby's father. I just don't really know how to tell you. Just, just tell him, David. Tell me what? That you're not Colby's father. So why did you get out of our lives? L Eliza, is everything all right? I mean, you've been acting really... You've been upset. What's wrong? I just, I don't know where to begin. Forget the beginning, just cut to the chase. It's about Christmas. Christmas? No! Oh, don't change your mind about, about Colby coming with us. To, uh, I, Christmas is such a big event at our place. And I, I really want her to be there for the festivity. I think, I think she'll love it. It's just one of those uh, small, awkward things. Um, I made a stocking for Colby, and I know how wonderful Ruth is. She makes things that are like works of art, and. Mine's nothing compared to hers, but I would appreciate it if Colby would use mine. Yeah, of course. I, I'm glad you told me Mom had the uh, knitting needles in her hand <laughs> recently, so I'll just tell her to put them away. Thanks. Yeah. yeah I, I hate to to push my luck, but uh, Tad and Dixie called. They invited me to dinner, and they really want to see Colby. And I know this is this is the last minute, but can I take her? It's not his night. I don't see why not. Good, thank you. Why don't you come? Why don't you go to hell? Uh, uh, Colby and I would love to come. I'm sure she would love being with her father, and I would love to be with her father and his family. Wow, that's kind of painless. <laughs> it's a lot easier when Adam isn't huffing and puffing around here. Well, you know how discouraging he can be, but he still loves her. Yeah. I suppose. Ah. Uh, you know, Jake, there's something else that I need to tell you. Maybe she couldn't hold it back. I filed for divorce. <laughs> Thanks. Good 
You're making a big mistake. It's too late to worry about my mistakes now. Julian may be talking to Jake even as we speak. I don't think so, Adam. But Hayward, Hayward, he knows too. No one said anything so far. Well, when they do, you want Jake to find out that you knew and didn't tell him? Colby, sub. Blossom. Please, it's been so, it's been such a long time. Would you, could I just hope? How stupid do you think I am? Well, then just bring her, bring her in here. Please, just take her, take her into the study or into the parlor and hold her up toward one of the cameras. So I can see her better. I, I've been get, trying to get as close as I can. I can't just, I just can't see her. Go. Liza. Please. Liza. I sorry to bother you. I just need you to sign off on the sales release. Does anyone ever read these things? I mean, I could just find anything like Joan of Arc or Hillary Clinton or Celine Dion or. You know what? I'll just get to this later. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Is uh, everything? Um, well, you know, I'll be, I'll be in my office if you need anything at all. Thanks. Thanks. You can't even lie to Jake. I heard you. These monitors are connected to every main room in this house. You were ready to tell Jake the truth until Mary had interrupted you. Yes, I wanted to tell him the truth. You, you can't push my guilt button because it's not going to work. Because what's overriding my guilt is the fact that I have a child that I have to take care of. And if I have to lie about you for the rest of my life, I will take my chances in front of the devil. You'll never get away with it. Really? Whatever needs to be seen. Jillian knows. What? Jillian. Hayward told her. The hospital. Hayward knows? Hayward, Hayward has known for months. He's been torturing me with it ever since. He, he knew before we were even married? Yes. And that explains why he was behaving the way that he was and how long has she known? Since just before her accident. Hi. Hi, I heard. What? About Palmer at the Valley Inn, all the fireworks. Uncle Trevor says he's gonna pull through, right? Oh, yeah, he's a tough old bird. I don't think you came here to talk to me about Palmer. No, I, I thought maybe I could run some ideas by you for the, the style show, if you have time. Sure, I'll see. Great. Um, I'm thinking that we should uh, not go with the uh, sensory overkill stuff. You know what I mean? No. No. Well, well I, I mean, like the sound bites and the pushy music, and I just think that if something is a trend, then we should steer away from it, because if something is a trend, well, then it's... You know, it's out already. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I agree. I'm, I'm glad you're thinking about the show. You know, this show, your show. It's oh. going to be a big hit. You know, I, I meant to ask you, how's Jillian? Is she is she talking yet? Uh, not yet. Not, not that I'm aware of. I wonder what she was doing, you know, on that road that night. In the dark, in that winding country road. Rob, Ryan would probably know. I mean, he was with her. Yeah, Ryan was with her. Yeah. Have, have you heard from my dad? I mean, did he get back from wherever it is he was? Uh-oh. Oh, he called, though. Oh, where did he call from? Um, I don't know. Airport, maybe. I don't know. How are you and Mateo? We're, uh, spacious. <laughs> and? What's that mean? <laughs> oh, uh, well, it's just giving each other space. Yeah. All the space in the world. You know, Millie, 
really sorry to hear about you and Mateo. But what about Ryan? I mean, look, if I'm getting too personal, just tell me. Oh, what are you kidding me? We're family. There's no such thing as too personal. Like, it's not, you know, it's not great between us. It's my fault, though, that it didn't work out. Sorry. Ryan? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted to ask you, uh, the other night that you guys had your accident, where was Jillian rushing off to? Oh, uh, to see Jake. Oh, uh, did she say why she needed to see Jake? No, no, she just said that it was for something really important. 